Hello, everybody. Ma! Oh, that was my eyeball. What, Mommy? You got my eyeball. What? Jabble? That was my eyeball. You want to show everybody your elbows? What? Is this your elbow? Yes. Ah. Hello. <laughs> Say hello, Mommy. Say hello, everybody. I can't. Yeah, you can. Okay, what are we going to do today? Hello, Mommy. Hello. What are we going to do today? Hello, buddy. Hello, everybody. Yeah. I'm shy. Do you get to know me? What is it, Mommy? Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, so today is going to be a little different. We're going to be putting a bug in some resin because resin is the what new... Is I say we're gonna put a bug in some resin epoxy. So here is our epoxy kit. Your epoxy kit. Yes, this is our epoxy kit. And it has everything yeah. you need in yeah. here. The two epoxy. solutions that you yeah. mix together. Yeah, epoxy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, epoxy. And yes. show them our bug. This is what we're gonna put in a bug in there. In there. This is a rhino beetle. This is a rhino beetle. It's a rhino beetle. A rhino beetle. And we have them a lot around here. So this one was actually alive whenever I found it. Barely alive. I did not kill it. And then, of course, it died. So we're going to preserve this little cute that. body. This is our resin kit. We've got two different solutions. The first is the actual resin, and the second is the hardener. We've got our measuring cup. And our mold. Make sure you have something that tells you your measurements. You're going to pour the first solution in. I pour it to 20 milliliters. And then we take the second one and fill it to 40 milliliters. Make sure you have a popsicle stick. You stir it. You want to mix it for two to three minutes. Just coming back and stirring a little more. And I take a leaf and we're just going to add it in for decoration with our rhino beetle so he's not just stuck in there alone forever. I pour a little bit in at first because I'm going to take this leaf here and stick it down. This seems to work a little bit better than putting the leaf down and then pouring. That way all of the resin gets around it and there's no air bubbles stuck under it. Like this. Now it's time to say goodbye to our little beetle. I just 
just stick them right down in there. Pour some resin over the top of him. And obviously, I did not mix up enough the first time to fill the whole little box for him. So I just mix up a little bit more. And we pour that in as well. I really don't know why I didn't think about that he would float to the top and so would the leaf. So here I am trying to figure out how to get this popsicle stick to hold okay, the beetle guys, down. Okay guys, so we have our beetle inside of the resin and it needs to cure for like 24 hours. Um, but you could see as it was sitting in there that he floats to the top and so does the little leaf. So what we'll do is when it starts to cure in about four to five hours, I will go back in with that popsicle stick and I will push him down. And hopefully, because it'll be a little bit thicker in there, it will stay. He'll stay because we kind of want him in the middle. We don't want him floated up to the top. So um, I'm just gonna push him down in a couple of hours, and then he should stay right in the middle. You wanna say bye? Bye. Here. Bye. Say bye, everyone. No. No, I'm shy, but I'm not at all. Tell them what your shirt says. Rule, rule maker, and crossed out says rule breaker. That is totally you. Are you jumping? Do you like the bug? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. Hurry, Mom. Bye. We'll be back in 24 hours, actually, not bye. 24 hours later. Bye. Hey, we're back. We're back with our kitty. Oh, oh look how cute. Okay, she wants down. We won't get scratched. We don't let her down. Okay, so it's been 24 hours or more or less or something around it. Uh, so we have our bug, our rhino beetle, in here. A rhino beetle. Remember, hold it. remember we had filled it up about this much well it started to cure within like an hour which was really weird it got really hot when I went to check on it and try to push the bug down and it was extremely hot and it wasn't going anywhere so I just mixed up some more and poured it over the top thankfully we had about this much room left that covered so i just filled it to the top and let it cure again so now it's completely cured and we're going to take it out of its mold to look at it you gonna take it out yeah okay let's take it out we have to do like this it's a little hard to get out <laughs> Okay, so we got in. It was really hard to get out. We had to get some help, but here we go. And it's out. Here is our rhino beetle. I'll hold it. I want to hold it. It's got it. a pretty good bit of bubbles in there, but it's still pretty cool. Mama. Have a bubble right here on top. Mama. Mama, I don't know. Hold it, baby. Shh. 
show everybody. He looks cool in there, don't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you later. Here's our rhino beetle, fully cured. Now, he has a lot of bubbles, but it's okay. He would have looked a little bit better if I had taken a heat gun to him and popped all those bubbles, but I do not have one of those at the moment. So, this is how he looks.